Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. Right, now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, uh, so I had that one. That needs to join over, oh, it's got four of four. That one can join onto there. So we've got power now connected, and we've got power connected elsewhere. I've got that one. You want to connect onto here, and then finally that one I want to connect you onto here. So have I got power going to everything else? I think everything else has got power. So now we've got those, and this is not running flat out yet. It needs to go faster. I don't have iron rods coming through. So that's our next issue, is that we've got no... Where's the iron rods? Where are my iron rods? I don't have any coming out. I've got that one over there. That one's running very, very slow. Although, I don't think it makes much difference. Uh, let's have a look at you. You are not overclocked at the moment. So we will overclock production on that one and ramp that up to 150. That's as 22.15 per minute. That one's already overclocked there. We will upgrade that conveyor belt just because... Uh, you are waiting on iron ingots to come in, and you are already, your stuff full of iron ingots. So why are we waiting on iron ingots to come into this one? And what's the hold up? It's waiting on there. That's, it's just waiting on that furnace. Oh, I see. It's because I've got a splitter on here. Like, it is backed up there. And this one is slowly accumulating a bit of iron no it's not it's actually I, I'm waiting for iron on this one so what about this furnace this one is not going flat out well it is going flat out but it could do with going faster let's wrap that one up it's now going to be producing 45 per minute out of there uh, you on this side you're not producing fast but this this side over here is producing fast and be all right over there we'll, we'll keep half an eye on it we can keep half an eye on these things so we come up to here and we make sure that let me have a look those tractors haven't moved so i don't really know what we're going to do with those tractors we will come back to the tractors and we will try to do something with it but now we've got iron ore coming through here and it's going through nice and fast we got both of these iron rod producers are going uh full tilt this one over here doesn't have much in the way of iron rods in it um but it's got a few slowly going in there the screw production over here we've got both of these running flat out but um the, the issue that i had i need to go i need to get up on top to have a look at this properly there we go right the issue i've got is that we don't have the iron rods coming in here fast enough means we don't have the iron rods coming out of there fast enough in order to be able to produce them they are running through now a lot quicker than they were they're coming in through like they're supposed to they, they, they come in and then they go up along here and they split one goes down that way and one goes around that way but they're they're not coming through very quickly oh actually 56 57 these are accumulating, aren't they? 15 per minute, 6 screws, yeah, we are 90 per minute. 57 right there. I'm actually accumulating iron rods faster than they are being used up at the moment. So right now, iron rod production is slightly... Well, iron rods coming into here, feeding into this side, are slightly above what they are elsewhere we've got some of them are going into that factory there because they're going through and being used in there so we need both of those being used and then over this side it's just kind of flat out onto there but it, it, what we really got is this is just building up here and it's taking a while to build up so we don't want to overclock the screw production yet because we don't have enough iron rods coming through right we can't do that because we don't have the iron rods coming through that's going faster now 
So the next thing that I need to do is I want to go and have a look over here and just see, are we having other screws coming in faster than we're using them? It doesn't look like it. No, we're still, it's exactly the same speed that it was earlier on. At least that's what it looks like to me. We'll wait a minute, but we're going we're gonna to want some more overclocking, which means I actually want more of those. So we might go on a little hunting session. Three, four, ah. Okay, maybe, just maybe, because I just seen there, it looked like it went up ever so slightly higher. It might be that the screws are accumulating a tiny fraction faster than we're using. Mm, maybe. Maybe we're using them up slightly faster. I don't know. What's it doing on this side? 22. No, we're not using them faster over this side either. It just it doesn't seem to be making a difference. I'm also I'm I'm splitting these out of here. So this one here, this is depleting. I need this to I need to be using them up faster. You in here, we're accumulating iron ingots, that's good, but I need more overclocking. I'm gonna overclock this one again. I'm gonna ramp you all the way up there to two hundred times speed so that you are now producing thirty iron rods per minute. And are you going to be getting enough of these? We've got the iron ore is coming in. It looks like it's going through all right at the moment. Uh, yeah, 120 a minute coming out of there. I'm using over here 45 ore per minute. And here I'm using 30 per minute. So I can overclock some more stuff. That's going through there. This one in here... Can't overclock that anymore at the moment, but that's fine. And then this one over this side. Let's just, just scramble up onto the top. Uh, I got two overclocks on here, which is giving us 30 rods per minute. And the iron ore is iron ingots. That's pretty much the same speed. They're going in the same speed they're coming out. Pretty much. I'm going to upgrade that belt. All of these belts here, they, they they can all be upgraded like that. There. I don't know if it's actually going to help or not, but I'm, I like to think that it might. So that's racing through there. We've got more steel rods running through, which I'm hoping will allow things to back up a little bit on this side. Over here. And um, we have a look in here. 66. Right, that's definitely starting to accumulate iron rods faster than we're using them up. And this one over here, 37. Yes, that is also... Okay, so we're accumulating these faster than we're using them up. We've just increased the speed that it's going through ever so slightly. The only thing that I want to do, though, is I still want to overclock everything still more so that this side, I can get these. And these plates, I haven't actually... All of that work was to increase the speed that these iron plates are being made. These reinforced iron plates. And I haven't actually done that. They're still being produced at exactly the same rate that they were being produced when I started. So all of that was for nothing. Well, sort of. No, it wasn't. I'm not going to admit defeat. It was not for nothing. Definitely wasn't. What we're going to do now... I'm going to go over this way. Oh, first we'll have a look in here and we'll see what this new stuff is. Uh, ooh, analysis complete. Analysis of hard drive is completed. Select your desired reward... Alternate blueprint stitched iron plate. Alternate blueprint modular frame. Uh, that is reinforced and the steel pipes to make modular frames. Concrete and encased industrial beams or the stitched iron plates, which is iron plate and copper. Definitely want that one. Definitely, definitely want that one as my reward. Incoming message. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay. Right, so we got an, an, an additional recipe right there, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's go into here a second and I'm going to get that ore. I'm going to go and research that one. Go to there. Oops, like that. Right, begin analysis on that. Um, 
So we've now got another, after all of that work, I've now gone and gotten an additional way to actually make these things. Uh, which we can just use normal iron plates and we can use copper wire, which is probably the two most simple things that we create. And we can use that to make more um, hardened iron plates. So I'm going to... I need to get a way to get some of the copper wires over to that side of the base so that I can set up something with that. But before I do that, there's two things that I want to do. First up, let's have a look in here. I'll take you at that. And... Right, scanning for power slugs. How do I change what I'm scanning for? Uh, no. Can't remember how to change C. Right, well that scans for that scans for those. X tab V F Q. Well, it's not Q. So how do I? Oh right, power. Oh right. Okay, so I'm. Power slug. It beeped at me. If it beeps, there's a power slug. Well, I know there's a power slug up there, but I can't get to it because it's covered in gas. Right, we've got gas all the way around our base over here. So we know that we've got one up there, which I'd like to be able to reach. But, I mean, I'm looking around. I can't see how to get up on top. I'm going to have to build, like, a big thing to get up on top of there anyway. Look all the way around. Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely a tricky one. We're going to have to build something up over the, t ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, we've got, we, we do have a thing for building, don't we? Foundations, stairs, there and there, walls, uh, logistics, conveyors, I could build a conveyor up there. Like walls, just uh, just to start with, I could, I could maybe build some walls up there. Foundation, stairs. I've got more stairs that I can build. Oh, that's that seems like a must snap to a foundation or similar. So you've got to put a foundation down first. Put that one in. I'm wondering if I can just put a conveyor. Like if I put that one. The conveyor pole up there. Like that. There. And then I just take you. And bring you. Right down over here. There we go. Right. Run up here. I'm taking damage. Taking a lot of damage. Go. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Time to leave. That's a yellow power slug as well. Okay, we've done that one. Let's get that one out and get that one out. And then we got a pole up there that we can remove as well. Perfect. Right. We've got one yellow power slug and... Power slug this way. Yellow power slug gives us two upgrade things. Right, it's beeping this way. Ah, there we go, look. There, power slug over there, over that side. Just want to be careful that I don't run into any of the angry natives. Oh, wait, what's this? What is this? That's a green slug. I thought it was a different color for a minute. I was thinking, ooh, ooh, like super shiny. That way. That way. There's another one through there somewhere. Is that copper down there? Right. There's another one over this way somewhere. Let's keep an eye out for the angry natives because they do, you know, they, they do tend to get rather upset with me. Blundering through their properties. This way. I can hear an angry native. There he is. Jump. Where'd he go? 
There he is. There he is. Get him once more. Boom. He got me, but I got him. Ooh. I'm actually losing a bit of health. Is there another one over there? Let me go over here first and have a look. Just see if there's another one. We got a bit of copper. Actually, we've got quite a lot of copper right here. Uh, let me go and have a bite. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we ought to just have a quick look round and see if we can find something to eat as well. Because we're running low on health. Now, somewhere around here is another slug. It was beeping at me, telling me that there was a slug here. Where is it? Oh, there's there's a thing up there. Ah, there it is. There it is. He's over on that tree. Right. Uh, safe to go and get him? Yep. I think it is. Uh, pick up the green power slug. There's another one. So that makes four now. There's, there's four power things that we can get. Uh, come over this side. That's... A rather long way down. Let's let's not go and play with that. And we'll come over to this side a minute. And I want to go back to this one. Right. Slowly move around in a circle. Yeah. There. There. Right, we've got something straight line over there. Let's get the old Zeno Basher out because we might need this one. We're running a little bit low on health. There is a Baleberry. That'll help us along a little bit. Let's grab you. I did pick it up, yeah. Right, I want to go up this hill. And get up onto here. And there, I knew I seen some nuts somewhere. Right, so there's one over this way somewhere. Let's have you two. And eat them. And then have those seven there. Like that. And then... Let's equip the Zeno Basher again. And it's in this direction. We'll come up this side a bit. There are some big nasty... There's a power... I can see a power slug over the other side. I can see one over there. There's the great big giant tick thing. Uh, there's another one of the angry natives down there. And there's that one flying up overhead. Okay. We're going to have to go down here and we we may as well just fight our way through them. Right. He's down there. He's, he's already angry with us. Right. He's, he, 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 th these guys got rage issues. Definitely got rage issues. Oh, there he is. I hit him twice. Come here. There. Right, he's out. We don't have to worry about him anymore. And we've got one of those giant tick things. We killed one of them once. And now we killed another one. And then you. Right over there. And then... Oops. Get him again. Right. That's those removed out of the way, and we've got a power slug up over there that we can go and get to. I think I can just go hop up onto this rock. I can't hop up onto there. I'm, I'm sure I can do this. I'm sure I can parkour. I can. Epic parkour. There's another green one. I want yellow ones. I want more yellow power slugs. That's what I want. Right. Can I climb up higher? Can I, can I get up there? I want to get up onto the top. I think I can go round. I think if I go over this way. And then I can get round up onto the top. Just up from where that slug was. Here. This gives me a little bit of a view of the countryside. That's all That's all I'm kind of wanting at the moment. Is a little bit of a view of the surrounding countryside. There's one up there. I can see it already. And looks like there might be something up over there as well. Don't know. Right, that makes five um, overclocking units. So I'm going to stick with those five at the moment, and we're going to head home. I tell you what, while we're going in this direction, let me take that one again.
Something. There's something over that way. Over this way. It's getting weaker there. But it's in that direction. It's not even picking up the one up on there. There's nothing towards home. Sort of... Where, where, where you sort of scan it round. It's looking like it's this way. Right, it looks like it's... There's much clearer signal. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere in that direction. Right. Okay, let's go in that direction then. We will head over there. I tell you what. I will equip this one. Just in case. As we've got one, like it seems like it might be reasonably close. So we'll head over this way and we'll have a look. And we'll see about picking that one up. And... As long as it's close enough. There's another angry dude over there. There's a pale berry. It's not great having a pale berry, but still, it'll help. And he's... Oh, wow. I didn't think that I would take him out that quickly. That effectively. I genuinely didn't. Okay, let's go back to this one. Alright, it's definitely in that. It's, it's there. It's up up the cliff. So I need to get up on top of that cliff now. Up where that big tick thing is. And if he can get up there, then we can get up there as well. That's, that's my theory, at least. If he can get up there with such relative ease, then so can we. So we want to go here. I've got some more of those. Let me just eat those a minute, just in case we do desperately need them. And take that one. Right, now, up around this way. That's the direction we need to go. Wait, what? According to this, is underneath us. Right. There's a power slug that's underneath us. There's a cave here somewhere. That's the only explanation. Yeah, is there a cave? Is this a cave entrance down here? It's definitely under us. Right? Under there. So somehow there is... We, we've got to get in underneath where we were just then. If I come over here, I can fall off the edge. Not something I want to do. And... Alright, I'm looking around here. I'm seeing a load of gas that way. Can I... Run through here quickly? Alright, I'm, I'm taking too much damage. I'm taking too much damage. I'm not going to try and go any further. So we don't... There's something there, but it's not going to do us much cop. So we'll, we'll leave it behind. We won't worry about it now. So we'll undo that one. And let's head back home. We need to head back to the hub. And we still haven't decided how these tractors... I, I know that I set them up, and then I got completely sidetracked uh, by doing something that I didn't really need to do because it's not made any difference yet. But now that we've got all these power slugs, I'm hoping that it will make a difference. We can go back and we can overclock a few things so that we can at least make a use of it. And then once I've done the overclocking bit, then I want to try and um, like get get another bit expand. You know what? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hitch a ride. It'll be faster. Well, there's no probably about it. It will be faster. On we go. Oops. That's better. That's a much better way to travel. There we go. Like that. Let's come off of here a second and just go and have a look and see... If anything is driven back over here, 
No, I, I got nothing over here. I, I don't know how to make that work yet. I'll have a look at it in a bit. We, we will go, We will have a look at that in a bit. Um, right now, though, what we want to do is get these power slugs so that we can overclock a load of things. And then hopefully that will increase the amount of uh, like things that we're, we're producing. I'm 215 at the moment. That's, that's doing just fine. Uh, research in here. How are we doing? Analysis of Caterium ore is completed. Message. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 3. Quick Wire. We've now got Quick Wire, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Right, Alien Organs up there, a hard drive I don't have, and Quick Wire 100. So we've got a load more things that we can... Let me just get the Alien Organs a minute. How many do I need? Remember now. Have a look. Uh, alien organs. I need five. I have nine. There. Begin analysis. Right. They can analyze, and I will go to here, and I will deposit that, and I will deposit the Xenobasher, and the chainsaw, and the object scanner, and the chainsaw fuel. And then I will keep the rest. And then we'll go over here, and we'll have a look. So, hub tier one, there's nothing in there that actually, yes, there is. Object scanner mushroom. That requires one reishi mushroom. Select milestone. Oh, it's in, in... I've got it in storage right here. Look. Not reishi mushroom. Bacon. Bacon, I get... Why do I think reishi mushroom? I'm not quite sure. Right. Launch pod. Object. Yeah, that's a, we can scan that one anyway. Right. Colored gun alternate iron plate there. Reinforced iron plate that we can make using copper. 150 copper and 50 iron. Oh, no. That's, that, that's not the recipe. I was going to say. Good as me. That's a bit expensive. That's a bit... Right. Caterium ingot and quick caterium's high conductivity and resistance. Corrosion makes it ideal for small, advanced electronics. Can handle up the seven power line connections. Oh, that is brilliant. Uh, blade runners. Exoskeleton for your lower legs is assisting movement, allowing you to sprint faster and jump higher and add. <laughs> okay, I love this. Scanner update, Caterium ore. I like that. Uh, I, 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 I want to start. And plus five inventory slots as well. This 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 is this is a beautiful thing. This this is a beautiful thing, but I want this one first. This one right here, this this alternative, that's also a beautiful thing. Right? We have many beautiful things right here. Many, many beautiful things that we want. You, launch pod, off you go. Milestone unlocked. New parts. No incoming message. Just new parts. Right. Uh, no, that one will be in here. So we've got uh, the iron plates. Power shard right there. Power shard one. Like that. And these. I had only one yellow slug. But that gives me five power shards. Five power shards, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, steel beams, reinforced iron plates, screws right there. Why can't I get these? And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.